Hello everyone, this is Angela from HHH Serpents and I got asked if I could do a mealworm video. I have a lot of mealworms. So I have one leopard gecko, just one. Um, but I didn't feel like paying to buy mealworms all the time. So I started my own mealworm breeding factory, I guess you would call it. So I did a bunch of research online and this is what I came up with. It's just one of these three plastic tubs that roll around from Walmart. It was like $17 or something. And the top tub, the reason it has tape on it, is because I cut the bottom out and I put, I don't know if you can even see it, it's window screen. So I put window screen on it. And this is where the beetles live. See all the beetles there? They're eating potatoes and fruit and oatmeal and things. Um, the beetles lay eggs and then the beetle eggs or if the eggs stay here the whole time then the little hatchling mealworms will fall through the screen um, and they go down to this next one so this one is my itty bitty baby mealworm one and the baby mealworms and the eggs really are pretty microscopic um, about once every month and a half, two months, when I notice there's bigger mealworms in this one, I will um, clean it out. I will keep all of the tiny bits in here, and then I move the mealworms down to the bottom drawer, which is where my large mealworms are. Now, um, the way that I clean it is by shaking it through a, um, a metal like strainer, a kitchen strainer. Um, with teeny tiny holes in it. So just the microscopic things like the um, the dust and stuff will fall through it. And then here's my bottom drawer. This is where the adult mealworms are. Um, adult being, you know, just a word I'm using because the adult mealworms really are the beetles. So this is where the mealworms that are big enough for me to see go. Oh, there's a beetle. I've got to move him up to the top. Um, there it goes. Um, so I'll just open this top one and drop them in there. So, uh, so the beetles really are the adults. Looks like there might be another one in here somewhere. But anyway, down here is where the worms that you can see are and where they eat and grow. Um, I put more fruit down here than I do in the other ones because I like to gut load my mealworms. Gut load means that they're eating basically fruits, um, which is why there's grapefruit cut up in here and stuff. Um, and there's some old cranberries from Thanksgiving that had started to go bad, etc. Um, because if they eat fruit and stuff, then they are healthier for your animals to eat. So I don't know if you're feeding frogs or um, what kind of reptiles you have. Gut loading your mealworms before you feed them or your crickets or whatever other kind of insects your insectivores eat um, gut loading is always a good idea so anyway that's my whole setup so the bigger mealworms down here um, I used to take the pupa out whenever I would see a pupa I would take it out and I would put it in a separate container until it turned into a beetle but I um, find that to be just a lot of work now and I have so many beetles and so many mealworms now that if one or two pupa doesn't actually make it into a beetle that's fine uh, but whenever I see a beetle in here like you just saw a little bit ago I just grab it out and move it up to the top where the breeding beetles are and um, that's about it so I hope that that explains how I run my little thing here um, the oatmeal is really their food um, especially in this one there's I've got some potatoes in here most people do carrots or potatoes something like that it's just mainly for humidity um, but for the beetles and the ones that I'm going to actually feed to my uh, reptiles I want to make sure that there's fruits and other things just to make sure that they're getting a little bit of a varied diet so all right thanks very much for watching uh, like and subscribe bye